Hey guys, Jason with JW Classic BW, and I'm I'm hot, <laughs> I'm dirty, and we are cleaning up the engine block, the engine block this morning. Let's take a look and see what's going on. I'm about to take it upstairs and toss it in the dishwasher after I do a couple more things with the cylinders and the mating to the actual case. And stay tuned because I'm going to show you guys all about that here in a minute. Okay, so we're looking at the block. I'll give you guys an idea of uh, how it's looking right now. I went ahead and decided to go back to bare case on the block. I'm going to leave some of the little bits of areas that I can't get to because honestly, I think it kind of gives it some character. And, you know, a little bit of a, as my mom would say, a vintage look to it. <laughs> But for the most part, it's it's back to uh, bare case, bare magnesium. Actually, I think uh, in the a I think <laughs> it just fell out. I think in the AS41, it was like a combination of magnesium and aluminum to give it more strength. So this year case anyway, which honestly I'm not positive on the year of the case, but maybe you guys can look it up. It's an AH which the A is still a little dirty. <laughs> it's an AH case, case, so we could probably look that up and figure out exactly what uh, what year it is. But uh, yeah, man, it looks good. I think it's going to give it a little bit of more of that older look to it when I get it back in the car. The, the idea is to get everything cleaned up and ready to go. The last thing I have to clean up is the case and the crank that I have covered up over here. And you can see that I'm running my my scat crank, which you can't see that on this side, but let's see. Flip it over. Flip it over, you can see. Scat crank. And uh, I have straight cut gears. And I, all my bearing surfaces look good. But uh, I'm going to take it upstairs and, and give it a really good cleaning, a thorough cleaning, so that it's good to go for going back into the engine. Once we have everything good to go, I'm going to start building out the, uh, the long block. Um... If you guys have paid attention to any of my previous uh, episodes, which I'll go at a link up here, so you guys can take a look. I explained that uh, one of my push rods had a loose tip on it, so we'll be replacing the, the push rods, going with a thick walled push rod for the uh, replacements, and I'll be picking those up next week when I get paid. Yeah, you. Get some of that uh, expendable money in, right? Yeah, because we all have tons of money. <laughs> all right, guys. Be back in a little bit. Uh, we'll be upstairs doing some cleanup and uh, getting ready to put this thing in the dishwasher. <laughs> Look what I got, guys. We're in the kitchen today. If you have a significant other or a spouse, girlfriend, whatever. <laughs> You might not want them to see this, but this is a tutorial on how to wash your engine case and get it cleaned up using your dishwasher. What are you doing? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So first thing we have here is the engine case. As you can see, I've cleaned it up really good. Removed most all of the loose paint and material that I could. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it down really 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 good to remove all like the dust and debris from the inside of the case before i put it in the dishwasher now step one honestly is to get your block ready and that's to get it so that it's not going to clog up all your crap in your dishwasher uh you may want to remove the top rack which i have there's on this particular dishwasher yours may be different there are little tabs here at the end these little tabs these little tabs right here you can take those off and remove the top of the dishwasher now this portion right here on my dishwasher this is a really old dishwasher this is probably a dishwasher that probably needs to be retired anyway uh 
yeah, it needs to be retired anyway. So you don't want to take this part out, the little tube in the center, because that's where the little jet thing shoots up. And if you block that off, you're going to have all kinds of other problems. But the bottom rotisserie part, the part that turns down there, is really what you want because the engine case, the, the halves, I'm just going to go ahead and face them in so that they're getting hit and and getting cleaned out really good with the hot soapy water that's coming out of the dishwasher and that's really it guys for getting your dishwasher ready now i will say that i'm probably going to run it two or three times after i get done cleaning my uh, engine case in there just to kind of purge all the crap that gets out inside of there so what we're doing next is moving on to cleaning the engine case one last time before we put it in there i removed the Ooh. I removed the oil relief valves off the bottom. You're going to want to go ahead and do that because stuff will get clogged up inside of there and you don't want that to happen. Oh, man, look how shiny it is. There, there are some little places here and there to where, you know, it was just super difficult to get. But I just used wire brushes and uh, and that's really it. Some wire brushes to clean this bad boy off. And it, and it turned out really good. It's uh, super shiny. And the honest truth is that those of us that know the only parts you're probably going to be seeing on this thing is like from the oil dipstick up and then like this area in here so yeah ooh, jewelry super shiny and uh, i i went ahead and cleaned up here so you could see the uh the ah on the actual engine case so there we go got the uh our full flow tap i'm just going to leave that on here there's no reason to take that off. It's fine the, the where it is. And uh, yeah, man, we're, we're uh, ready to crack this case and then clean it up and then stick it into the dishwasher for a final rinse and clean. And after I get done doing this, I'm gonna clean the, uh, the crank like I was saying. And then we can go ahead and get the garage cleaned up and get it the surgical area ready for reassembly of the engine and get my long block back together. All right, guys, stay tuned. So. We have one one last uh, messy kind of thing that uh, I want to take care of before we clean it up and really uh, wash this. I've shown this before on a, another video, and I'll go ahead and link that up here for you guys to take a look at. Wah, up here in the right-hand corner of the screen. I'll link that up there, and what what I'm doing is on the actual, uh, actual uh, cylinder itself, I'm going to take the... The surface here your surface right there and I'm gonna use some valve grinding compound and what this is gonna do is I'm taking the cylinder that is for number one and I'm gonna run it down in here and I'm gonna take that valve grinding compound and, and kind of surface the area right here now this works whether or not you're gonna be using spacers underneath your cylinder because what you're doing is you're truing up that area now if you're not if you're not gonna go and take your your uh, your case and have it decked which I'm sure I'll hear all about that to where people are like, oh, you need to deck it. You need to go ahead and deck it. And you know what? We might have to do that. I'm not afraid of taking my engine out of my car, you know, in and out 15 million times because that's fun for me. I actually enjoy doing it. I'm actually thinking about uh, making my rear skirt on my, my, my car removable so that I can do that. I always plan on having a big engine in there, uh, upgrading as I go and as I have money and make my, my engine faster, bigger, and make my, my old 56 Beetle go as quick as I can with an air cooled engine on this car anyway. So I'm not afraid of that. If, if you're not the type of person who's going to be taking your car, your engine out of your car on a regular basis, then you might want to go ahead and have somebody else build your engine, or if you're building your engine, have somebody else, you know, deck the top of your actual case so that you have a true area there. I wanted to try this and see if I could go ahead and make it as true as possible doing it myself. Now, all I did was, you guys saw my other video where I uh, resurfaced this area here with some sanding discs and brought it down, and you know what? It's pretty freaking, uh, pretty freaking good, guys. And, you know, I'm happy with the way it turned out, but I'm one of my uh, subscribers pointed out that why don't you go ahead and take some valve grinding compound and just resurface the area where the cylinder is going to be mating and that way you know that it's it's you know got a better chance of sealing anyway 
so and, and that made a lot of sense to me that that made a lot of sense to me because I did I do that on my my cylinder heads whenever I'm mating the cylinder wall the cylinder itself to the cylinder head I go ahead and do this on that and and uh, it helped out a lot when it came with any kind of uh, leaking there so it makes sense that it would work out here too so we're gonna go ahead and do it and see how it turns out and guys you know what Another good thing about cleaning up the case like this is if there are any oil leaks, I'm going to see them right away, and I'm going to show you guys too. Because, you know what? If I jack up, I jack up. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid to take my engine back apart and fix things. So, let's go ahead and try it. Okay. So, like I was telling you, I'm going to take a pretty liberal amount of this. You know, I'm not going to get stingy with it. I'm going to put a, a pretty decent bead of it around the, uh, whoops, around the uh, outside of the cylinder here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clean all this off anyway, guys, so it's, it's all good. Put a pretty decent bead here because you want to have some more of it to actual which what it does is it creates like a little area that is grinding and well, at least it does when i'm doing valves because this stuff works great on valves but um it, it creates a little area of uh of grinding and uh we'll see how it turns out you know i'm, I'm kind of curious myself to see if it works and this way you guys get to learn a lesson from me before uh before you attempt something like this. <laughs> so, hey, Jason, that's uh, not going to work. You know what? It might not work. It might not. But it might. And if it does, then it's uh, good information for everybody all the way around. So, take it down. And I'm just going to move it back and forth. And all right. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time doing this. I'm probably going to do about five minutes or so, probably less than that. Let me set the timer. I'm going to set my timer on my oven since I have it here. Let's go ahead. Timer. And I'm going to set it for three minutes. Three minutes, and let's go. Three minutes is a long time. <laughs> you're done you definitely want to make sure that you clean the surface off really well but let's go ahead and take a look i'm gonna bring you guys in close and we'll take a look and see what it looks like after i clean this off all right bringing you guys in extreme close up that might be too extreme what do you think i think it's probably too extreme right there so let's clean it off and see what we got going on and honestly it might not be visibly a big difference but uh it might you might see a, a, a surface area cleaned off some yeah i'm seeing a little bit of area defined yeah yeah i see it you guys see it it's not much but it's definitely something there yeah cool and what that does is it's going to help even out any of your high spots that you might have if you have any little high spots. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good little bit of information there. Um, I can't remember who who hit me up on that in my comments, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. As always, I do uh, appreciate your guys' comments, and I read and respond to all of them, guys. So uh, yeah, make some comments. I've got both sides of this case cleaned and washed i went ahead and ran some uh some dawn through there and cleaned it out really good so i'm just going to go ahead and set it in a little bit off to the side here kind of like this now oh let's see if this is going to work just need it. there we go and then just need it to shut and i'm just going to do one man let's try this there we go. And I'm just gonna do one side at a time. Here we go. We need, and I'm not sure what you guys use, but I use Cascade Original. 
It is fantastic for cleaning all of your stuff, including engines. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it leaves that, that squeak-free shine. Setting wash to normal. Normal wash cycle. All right, guys, and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call that it for today. Uh, I'm going to do my other side of my case and get that cleaned up. And then the next video that you'll probably see is the long block going together. So we got a lot of stuff to get done before we get back to my other video series on the IDF uh, reverse manifolds. I know that you guys are interested in that. So we'll be going, getting back to that pretty soon. I, I would say... Uh, Probably a week or so because I'm gonna have to get the push rod tubes, this uh, or not push rod tubes, the push rods, the new ones, uh, next week. So, but the engine's gonna be all cleaned up. It's looking really good. It's gonna be uh, back to the uh, the bare case, the bare uh, the bare metal, and uh, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Do me a favor and uh, send out send out some uh, well wishes and prayers to everybody that's in the line of this storm that's coming through. I know that flooding is a big uh, concern and worry for everybody that's in Louisiana, so we're thinking about you. Uh, all my new subscribers, thank you for joining. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate it. Uh, add some comments down below. Comments are good for the channel. If uh, you want to support my channel, uh, you can go ahead and purchase something through one of the Amazon affiliate links below if you need it. Uh, don't just buy crap you don't need. But if you, if you do need something, go ahead and buy it. Uh, my t-shirts that I wear, like my FUBAR t-shirt, I got it, that down in the description. So if you want a FUBAR t-shirt too, and join the, uh, the, uh, the club, <laughs> then uh, go ahead and buy a t-shirt. Uh, my description below in the video also has a bunch of other great YouTubers. And uh, go ahead and check that out. It's important that we support our fellow uh, Volkswagen guys out there and gals and make sure that uh, they know that we care and hit the sub for them as well if you, if you like their uh, content. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, not a whole lot. I can't wait to get the engine back together on uh, Goose because I miss driving it. Every time I take the engine out to do something, it's like, oh, I got to get it back together so I can get my, get my car going again. But uh, honestly, the weather has been freaking hot. Hot as monkey balls down here in Houston. And not so fun to drive an air-cooled vehicle when it's super hot. But I still do it. And I usually would go out for a drive at night maybe get uh, an ice cream or something like that, but it's been super hot, so I haven't been doing that. So, that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial on how to uh, wash your engine case using your, your, uh, your, your kitchen dishwasher, if you're allowed to. <laughs> See you guys next time. This is Jason with JW Class VW. I'm out. Okay guys, it's a few hours later, and uh, I got both case halves completely cleaned up. She turned out really good, man. She looks really clean. Uh, I've got my studs in right now with the, uh, I used the blue Loctite this time. And I put a little silicone, as you kind of see a little bit of silicone there. Silicone inside each one of the uh, case savers to help out with any uh, possible leaks that may be coming from inside of those. There's only one, honestly, uh, this one over here, this bottom case saver over here, that uh, due to the clearancing inside, it was kind of shaved enough to where oil could get through. But uh, I went ahead and put the silicone in, in, uh, in each one of the, uh, each one of the uh, case savers, so. But yeah. Looks like you should be ready for reassemble. Reassembly. So those that hang out, hung out to the end of the video, guess what? You got to see the surprise! Dishwasher cleaning complete. All right.